In our last video, we subnetted by the number of subnets that we needed. Now let's subnet by a given number of hosts that we need. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 128, 192, 224, 240, 248, 252, 254, 255, slash 25, slash 26, slash 27, slash 28, slash 29, slash 30, slash 31, slash 32. All right, these are hosts or increments. This is where our host is going to come in, by the way. Subnet, masks, and CIDR. Now, if you're just uh, joining in on this video and you are going, what in the world is he doing here? This is called the Z-chart. And I use it, I developed it, I use it for teaching subnetting. And I have other videos where I show you how to create this and what how it's used and so on. But we're now still learning how to use it. And this time I'm going to use it in order to create a network based on the number of hosts that you need. So 192.168.0.0, 255 255.255.255.0. .255 and this time we want to subnet based on the fact that we need 15 hosts per network. 15 hosts per network. Um, you know what? Let's change that because it's going to repeat what we had last time, and I don't want to do that. Uh, let's say we need seven hosts per network. All right, you remember if you saw my earlier videos, let me start putting this in, by the way, that I said, well, this number up here represents the number of hosts, but remember that we also have to subtract two from it. Now, why do we have to subtract two from it? Because we have to subtract out the, the network address and the broadcast address for each network. So we lose two for every network that we create. So we have to subtract two from these in order to get the number of hosts they're actually worth. So these minus two. And I did mention in an earlier video, you can see why I said we would never subnet out here. Well, look, because you can, you have to subtract two. If you could only get two hosts, then you subtract two. You can't get any hosts. <laughs> so you would never subnet. Uh, I can't even imagine a time you would subnet beyond that point. But anyway, that notwithstanding, I said we want seven hosts per network. Well, look at here. This is eight, and I have to subtract two. So that means that I can only get six hosts out of this. And I need seven. So that means I have to jump over to the next one. So now in order to identify the column I'll be working with, sometimes I just call it the interesting column or something like that, um, then I will select this uh, this column right here, and I will have 14 per network. Okay, so let's start by filling in our first network information here. 192.168.0.0. Oh, by the way, we already know what network mask we're going to be dealing with, right? We're going to be dealing with 240 in the fourth octet. Right here, 240. This is all fourth octet. So 240 in the fourth octet. Subnet mask. We could already say 255.255.255.240 in the fourth octet, or the same as saying slash 28. And you can see that here. All right, so this is the first network. The question I have now is, what is our increment? Well, we can look right here, and we can see our increment is going to be 16 
in the fourth octet. All of these are in the fourth octet. So we're going to increment by 16 in the fourth octet. So let's go ahead and do that. 192.168.0.16, dot what would that be, um, uh, 48, and so on. Now, I could keep going because we're going to get, how many networks would we get out of this thing? Well, we could get 2, 4, 8, we could get 16 networks. And I don't really have room down here for 16 networks. So at this point, I'm just going to cut it off here and say plus some more. All right. But I will do one more in order to in order to be able to do my accounting. So I'm going to say 48 plus 16, uh, 4, 5, 6, that's 64. This is just my accounting number down here. So I can get the... Uh, broadcast address all right the broadcast address for this 48 network here this is the fourth network would be uh, one less than 0 0.64 so it'd be 0 0.63 one less than 0 0.48 would be 0 0.47 one less than 0 0.32 would be 0 0.31 one less than 0 0.16 would be 0 0.15 one greater than 0, 0 would be 0, 1. One greater than 0, 16 would be 0, 17. One greater than 0, 32 would be 0, 33. One greater than 0, 48 would be 0, 49. One less than 0, 15 would be 0, 14. One less than 0, 31 would be 0, 30. One less than 0, 47 would be 0, 46. One less than 0, 63 would be 0, 62. And again, these are all slash 28s or 255, 255, 255, 240. And I'm done. I have subnetted based on the number of hosts that I need. And all I had to do was look right here. Now, you may notice something interesting. When I'm looking at subnets, I'm counting this direction. I'm saying, well, two subnets, four, eight, 16, 32. When I'm looking for hosts, I'm just, I don't need to count anywhere. All I need to do is look at the number and I can see the number of hosts that I'm dealing with. But if you want to think of it this way, I'm also, I'm counting from this direction for hosts. But I never actually have to count anything when I'm looking for a certain number of hosts because I can just look at my chart and see it. Now, we're not going to go deeper. That is to say, we're not going to go into how you do the inter-octet subnetting in the third octet and then the second octet, or what happens when you cross over octets. Uh, this is the simplified version of subnetting. Once again, if you want the full set of subnetting uh, where I go into all of that in great detail, uh, look at the subnetting video series. Uh, there are 31 videos, Roger Zimmerman subnetting in YouTube. You'll find them. And uh, I highly encourage you to look at those if you want to get a little bit better at subnetting.